Hi, this is Rob. I'm a little stressed right now. Got up this morning and uh, somebody opened a, an item didn't deliver. Or how is it? Package didn't arrive. Uh, against me wanting their money back. It was a uh, Mavic 2 Pro. And uh, I paid close to $2,000 for it because I got the combo pack and everything with it. I never used it, so I decided to sell it. This was back in July. I sold it for under $1,500. So a guy from New York bought it. Sorry, I was looking at the screen. And um, he bought it while I was at work. I mean, I was only at work an hour and he bought it. I couldn't do anything about it. He sent me a message saying, hey, could you, uh, could you get that in here? Get that to me by the weekend, before the weekend? I'm going on vacation and I want to use it. I told him, well, I'll see what I can do. I don't get off. Well, then he said, could you mail it today? And I said, well, I'll see what I can do. I don't get off work until 4.30. I still got to go home and package it up. I didn't expect it to. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of it. No, I can't get rid of that. Clear. Well, maybe I can this way. So he said, uh, could I mail it off? Then I said, well, I get home at 4.30. I still got to package it. Uh, the post office is close, but not that close. They close at 5. I'll see what I can do. So I came home real quick, packaged up really good. Got to the post office with, a, with a probably about uh, maybe a minute. Well, actually, when I got in, they were actually locking the lobby door. But they let me get in and just mail that off. Well, in the rush, I didn't get... The signature thing on it like I should have so it got delivered on Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning after a few more demanding things from him about why did you ship it this why didn't you ship it for this why didn't you ship it with that and it's like dude you didn't give me time to do anything you wanted it out. I had limited time to get it out. And what? And he didn't hear. He, he didn't care. He, he was going to tell me how I was supposed to do it. And then July 19th, and I provided a tracking number. And I have from the post office, from eBay, and from PayPal that it was delivered. Well, Monday, he texts me and goes, I didn't get it. I said it was delivered Friday at 8, I think it was like 8.15, 8.05 or something like that. And he goes, I didn't get it, it's not here. I said, okay, that's not my responsibility. That is the post office and the delivery driver responsibility, not mine. I said, I'm sorry, it's not there. I was very polite and I've been very polite to this guy. So it went on where I didn't hear from him for a while. And all of a sudden... Almost 20 days later, he opened a case against me on eBay. Well, eBay said, don't worry, you have a tracking number, you provided it, you're good. So he didn't like that, so he went to PayPal and opened a case there, and they drained my earnings from my eBay store and told me I needed to get in touch with them by the 17th of August. I have no money. I can't. I'm in the red with PayPal now because of this guy. How is it my fault? How is it my fault that it didn't hit? It didn't get on his step, his store step when he was there. It was delivered. I got the confirmation that it was delivered. He got the confirmation that it was delivered because he even said to me, "Hey, it was delivered at this time." Blah blah blah, and it's not there. He's scamming me. I'm positive he's scamming me. So I got to, so I got up this morning. I am just totally like stressed. I don't know what to do because I don't have that money. 
it's like about three days ago I went and bought some more inventory for uh, my store with that money and paid some bills with that money because everything was fine. Even eBay said everything was fine because as soon as he texted me and said that it didn't show up, I called them right away. And that was a, probably like, was, yeah, Monday. I called them up Monday. That Monday, well, which would be the 20, like 22nd of July or 21st of July. I'm not sure because it was delivered on the 19th and that of July and that Monday he did it. So yeah, it'd be 21st. I mean, the 19th, it was delivered the 21st Monday. And they said, no, you to provide it, you're fine. And I went, okay, cool. Well, he's trying to, he was trying to double dip. He wants his money back. He wants his money back. He doesn't have it. It was not there. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm stressed. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Now my PayPal is $1,300 in the hole. And I'm afraid to sell anything on eBay because I know they're going to take it. The PayPal will. I don't know if they, I provided them with a picture of the tracking number and uh, PayPal with the tracking number and with the, the confirmation that it was delivered. It, he's still demanding. He's still writing me things through eBay. I want my money. I want my money. It's, it's not here. It's not here. And then and I sent him back. I said, I think you're scamming me. And he goes, I don't appreciate being called a scammer. I said, that's how you f make me feel right now. It's like you're you're scamming me. So I'm stressed. I, I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to do. But here's the... So I don't know how good that picked up, but because I'm on my phone, you uh, you can pause and read it if it did show up. If not, I'll find out. Find out when I edit this. Uh, I I really have no clue what to do. Uh, eBay's on my side. They're done. He didn't like that. So now he's going to PayPal, and PayPal just drained my account. What little bit I had in there that I made, they took it all because of this guy. He's from New York. I, I really don't know what to do. I, I actually feel like just shutting down everything and just not even trying anymore. But I don't want to. But if if it's found against you, which I don't know why it would be, because I provided shipping, the confirmation, the shipping number to uh, PayPal. They said it take up to thirty days. So I can't sell anything on eBay for thirty days because they're going to take it for something they don't need to be taking it for. I'm so stressed. I don't really know what to do. I really don't. But I have no clue. I just had to come on here and, and talk about it. So people can kind of have an idea of if you've been through it as an eBayer. Had anything happen like this. Leave a comment and, and, and uh, yeah, I'm so stressed I can't even speak right. I, I'm so stressed that I'm sick to my stomach because of it. It's not something you want to wake up to in the morning that what little bit of money you did earn is gone because some guy wants to scam you. So I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Uh, thanks for listening to me rant and... Uh, Go turn around way. And uh, I, I really, I, I don't know what to do. I really don't. Like I said, I'm really to the point of just 
shutting down my store and getting off of PayPal and but I, I really don't want to. I really don't. All because of this guy. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I hope that got better. Well, I put my finger right into there. I hope that was better shot of it. If not, I'll try to do a, a screenshot and put it, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I'll just leave it as what it is. Thanks. Bye.